So, uh, a great theft happened in Gerudo Town, and I gotta find the Thunder Helm. That's the only way that I'm gonna be able to fight the Divine Beast He's right. that is currently destroying the desert. Consider yourself part of our unit. Okay. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. The Yiga Clan hideout is in the Karusa Valley, but we can't find a way to get in. Your help in this matter is more than welcome. Please talk with the other soldiers if you have time. Okay, I gotta talk with some other soldiers. So we got a missing Gerudo. So Barta is missing. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot. I, I can't have to close off on the, on the wall. I'm getting thrown off. I am currently cold, so I'm going to equip a great flame blade to keep me warm. Rick luck, yay! Dude, this is, this is the funnest shit, dude. This game is unbelievable. Right. So I, I found a little tro tre treasure trove here. A buried treasure. I'm going to be opening it up. Sapphire, cool. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, I dropped my shit! Oh, what the fuck happened? So was that other chest like a like an enemy or something? Oh shit, I know he's a fire rooster! Okay, so that didn't go as well as I thought it would. Um, the, uh, the fire Lizafos are very damaging, of course. But I'm heading towards this Yiga, Yiga clan, I think is what it's called, which is the uh, kind of like the Dark Sheikah uh, tribe. And they they're they're think, a subsidiary, uh, aren't they, of the regular Sheikah tribe? Yeah, they're like a dark version of the Sheikah tribe. They're the, um, they're the fuckers who sneak up on you. Well, they don't sneak up on they're you. They're like they, faceless they, men. They, they trick you. They're like faceless men. Yeah. The Northern Ice House. So this is an ice house, but it looks like sand, Eric. Well, it's because there's ice down here. Oh. There's nothing up here. Rex, see that over there? Yeah, what is it? That's the divine beast that I had to tackle in this region. Okay. Uh, I just have the ambulance. It's all the way over there and just, you know. Are they all unique, Eric? Uh, yeah, there's four of them. They're all unique. Hmm. This I one is creating these giant sandstorms. Have you fought any so far? I fought one and I've beaten it. You beat it? Yes. Okay. It, uh, they're kind of like mobile dungeons. Okay, so this is the ice house, I'm assuming here. This is an ice house used for storing the ice brought down from the mountains. So Crusader. we live in the des desert, it's pretty important stuff for us. Gerudo, so I managed this place 24 hours a day. Okay, all right. Okay, we are going to be going up the side of this mountain because uh, it looks like the Yiga clan marker that we're going for is a bit out of the way. So we've already been to this Gerudo tower. This is the one that I... Uh, uh, got to early, so we're heading this way, so... What denotes what you can and can't climb, Eric? <laughs> um, you can climb pretty much anything as long as it's not raining too slick. Uh, there are certain walls inside some of the dungeons that you cannot climb. But if you see it in the world, you pretty much can climb it. I can climb up this rock face. I just have stamina. Cool. So if I can get to the top before the stamina runs out, I'm good. I also have certain potions and items that can give me stamina back. Rain sucks, man. I fucking... It's definitely a very cool mechanic, but it's frustrating when you're like, I want to climb something so bad. So, uh, I've been trying to collect, uh, rush rooms, uh, recently, because there is that one guy that needs, like, 55 or something like that, so... Anytime I do see anything, uh, growing off the side of these cliffs, I do check and see if they're rush rooms. Is there so, crafting in this game, man? Uh, there is a lot of crafting in this game. Uh, you have to pretty much craft everything. If you want to survive, er you know, Rick, I can't just cut grass anymore. I have to actually eat, and these are all my oh. items that I have so far. Okay. So See, I've only yeah. played the first one. You couldn't even cut grass in that area. Yeah, no. Uh, Legend of Zelda for the NES. Nope. This is very much an open world crafting game. Uh, not even your weapon survived that long. I'm just checking out all these different kind of ruins. Oh shit, there's an ice pub over there. Is that ice or a light? I think it's ice. So, if that means if I take him out with a fire arrow, I should be able to one-shot. So, we have 20 fire arrows, so that is not a big deal. Ah, shit, not, that, not close enough. Little taluses. Got him! Alright, got him. Not enough. One hit. You can headshot your enemies, you can get them in one hit. Is it just the minor enemies? <laughs> um, it, it depends on the, on the strength and the strength of your bow. That, in here. 
So a rupee. All right, it's worth 100 rupees. There's some little calluses here. If you pick them up, and oh shit, damn it, you motherfucker. That thing would be so fucking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it blew up on me. Okay, we're looking for a part of this mountain we can actually climb. Oh! Stab him in the dick, man. Yep. I actually should have not used my, uh... You gave him blue balls, Eric. I should not have used my frost spear there. I don't want to damage it too much, because... I only have heat resistance for six, four minutes, and then I can use my frost weapons to uh, stop that. I need to find a cliff here I can uh, climb. Not find one, but it looks like there's a little ledge up on this one. I saw one. something glowing just up to the right, Eric. Some glowing? Uh, left. Left. There. That would be... Uh, that's not a rush room, I don't think, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it for now. Okay, looks like there's some stepping stones here. So we're going to be going up the mountain. Looks like there's a little ravine in here, too. I absolutely adore the climbing mechanic of this game. It's changed Zelda uh, at its core, honestly, for the better. Because in every previous Zelda game, especially you know from Ocarina of Time on, you've always had that. Oh man, I wish I could get there. I wonder what's over there. And this game, you can literally do that. It opens up. You can the world. go anywhere. Anywhere you see, you're able to go to. All right. It looks like this was some kind of. Uh, Water erosion, maybe. So, uh, while there are vast parts of this game where I don't really talk a whole lot, especially on stream, it's just because it's so engrossing. Ooh! That was a hell of a shot! <laughs> yeah, I've been get getting pretty good shots lately. That right there, Rick, is a rush room that we ah, Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Now, there is a small little exploit where if, if you, uh, are want a place that's, you know, not this steep, but slightly steeper, where you can kind of run up the side of the wall and get places you're usually not supposed to be. But I don't think I can do it here. Uh, Eric, what's your favorite weapon you've collected so far? Um, the Royal Claymore has served me well. I was able to take out the first Lionel I ever fought, uh, <laughs> first time with ease. Um, but I do gotta say, uh, I really enjoy... Uh, shield surfing plus weapons. That's been a lot of fun. I, I think shield surfing shouldn't damage shields as much as it does. Well, if you are on uh, grass, it won't be. It's not so bad. Yeah, or on snow. sand or s sand or snow, it doesn't do it at all. So you kind of just gotta watch I've, yourself where you do. I've, every time I've broken, it's, for me, it's been on grass. Obviously, yeah. being on a mountain fucks your shit up bad. Yeah, I don't believe I'm gonna make it. You're up not gonna here. make that shit. I also <laughs> don't think I have any stamina. Uh, food right really? now. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a jump off and glide around the side of this thing for a second. Get a little bit of space, head over this way. I didn't figure I was going to be able to make it all the way up there. I just went for that uh, rush room. Like I said, I have an, said I have an active quest. Okay, so there's some civilization over this way. And if we consult our map, that is exactly where we're wanting to go. Is that laundry thing? Uh, it looks to me like maybe some kind of uh, just ribbons and flags. It looks like I'm not really sure. It's a trap! Oh, interesting. We're in the cold right now. We're going to equip our great flame blade. Keep us cool at night. Even though I still have heat resistance on. I feel like I want to jump down and see what's going on down here. But Eric, you want to go to the flags. Rick, are these toads? They are. Oh, I like this place. They're demon frogs. Oh, there's a Yiga. All right, we got him. Duplex bow times two. Okay, so this can fire two arrows at once. All right, we're definitely gonna be picking that up. But I gotta drop some uh, bows that I already have. Even though this is 38, this is gonna break real quick. This is a 10, but it's times three. We'll go ahead and drop it though. How do you make it times three? It's just the nature of the bow. All right, well, they just call it he three. dropped some rupees and some mighty bananas. So that is good. It seems to me like all the Yiga followers have bananas with them. Which is really interesting. I don't know why they always have bananas. But we're gonna go find out, because we should be getting close to the hideout. Oh, we got some luminous stones over here. Oh shit, another Yiga? Where is the Yiga? I don't see him. There he is. Not in the end of all. Another archer. Alright. Man, another duplex blow. Poor guy. Oh shit! Oh, that's a problem. Turn on dead. 
we are gonna bomb. Oh, looks like there is a uh, oh, some wolves over here. Not the best shot. So it fires two arrows, but it only counts as one. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know how it makes sense, but it's awesome. Oh, this is interesting. He's if you seek power cool. untold, offer a shining blue stone. So I gotta offer a, uh, a bomb. Well, no, I'm assuming a luminous stone. The luminous stones I can get from these guys. If I had a uh, hammer, I would definitely try to use oh. it because uh, the bombs really throw these things away, and sometimes you can lose track of them. But bombs are a power and not an item in this game, so they uh -huh. do uh, as many as you want. I can do as many as I want. So I can offer a luminous stone. I wonder if I, I offer it in here. It might not be an actual luminous stone that he's talking about, though. We might be talking about one That'd of the Sheikah story. The Sheikah stones that we've seen before. However, it never hurts to try. I need to sort my inventory and find a luminous stone. I have so much stuff that they're hard to find. Where the hell are my luminous stones? Oh, there it is. Not very luminous right here. Nope. Oh, it did work! Sweet! Ah. What'd you put in there? A luminous stone. So the shrine should be showing up. Or do they give you, like, a new weapon? Or... Uh, they can give you different things. Okay. Pick this back You up. have pretty much all the weapons you're gonna have uh, uh, in the beginning of the game. It's just fast travel point. points. So this is where you were doing that one puzzle with the ball that you had to... Yeah! Okay. Yes, it was. <laughs> I just flipped it over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So 120 shrines and 900 cork seeds. Totally. Two game. bombs. This shrine is called. Wait, what's that symbol over there? So if I can. Okay. What's the word symbol not? over where? Well, it looks like there's there's constellations over on the left. Yes, there are. Those are in every shrine. Okay. Looks like a bow and arrow. Oh, oh. I was a little too close that time, buddy. All right, we hit the crystal that was inside that. We got into the other room. This one does not seem to be, uh, oh. No, what? Hurry. That's a time thing. Is it timed? Yep. Actually, no, it's not. What you have to do is turn it off. Oh. Lay your bomb down. And fire! Put it right here. We'll hit it, fire, and then just try to guess when it gets to the top. I think it was a little too low. You know I think you do? I think you need to lay a bomb there, get on it, and let it push you to the top. No, there's a cage around it. Oh, you, oh, you don't go on top of the cage? No. Now he already solved one. Maybe a little bit quicker this time. Rob has a good suggestion if you want it, Eric. Hold on. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Check it. Got it, but what was the suggestion? Uh, use a bomb on the switch as well. Uh, can I use two bombs at once? Uh, you could use a round one, can't you? It would. I can use a round one. It would detonate them both before they got up yeah. there. Yeah. Because if I do that, then they're both going to detonate. So it would detonate before it got to the top. Oh no, it wouldn't. With one? Yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't no, it. that one doesn't detonate until I go back to this one. Right. Okay, that makes sense. That would have worked, but I like mine so much better, Rob. Okay, so we're going to th miss completely. Damn it! Let it throw. And hit! Okay. I love some of these puzzles. Remind me of pinball, Eric. <laughs> so we gotta do this again. Fire when ready! I made your heart erect. Well, good. We gotta hit that. These are gonna go down. Go, go, go. So we need to... No, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do is we have to throw it in there, have it hit while we're standing on top of this. Toss it! Run, 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 run! And hit, and then up we go. Alright. Can't become and a patron. Now there is a. There is a. I can't get in here. Shit! Throw it! We're gonna run it! Run, 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 Okay. That there. Pick this one up. Oh shit, I forgot that I already... No. What if you put a bomb on, on each one? one? Yeah. I suppose that'd be easier. I liked my way, Rick. I'm sorry. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. 
Well, they shoot back and forth. Can you detonate them when they're over top? That one is a round. I will go for a square here. So we'll detonate the square whenever that is clear. Be left. I'll be back. And then we will detonate the round whenever it is good. There's one there. Let's wait for it to go over. Eric Zed, there's nothing I can compare it to. It's and maybe. right there. Now we're inside. All right. Okay, so we are out of that shrine. We're still continuing on trying to find this Yiga stronghold. Oh, shit. There's three of them now. <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh, they're all archers. Oh, damn. And there's these dudes. All right, we got to destroy skulls. My royal broadsword has now, <laughs> now broken. I guess I'm gonna use this nice broadsword right now. We gotta get rid of these skeleton guys, and then we can take on the Yiga. Okay, they're not disappearing on me. All right. Okay. That was an experience. All right, we got some torches stuff in here. I am unsure as to what is going on. Oh, I can go, there's a room there. Or at least boxes there. We're just gonna set this spear down for now while we can use this torch. And we will pick up some fire and I guess go light something on fire? Like these? Ah! Okay. Little fire. What's gonna happen? Nothing? Are these cloths that I can burn? Maybe? Let's go and see, I guess. Yeah, you can burn it. Okay. This place is a little spooky. All right, sapphire. Okay, I guess it's just a stronghold. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna like what's behind one of these doors. Nope. Uh, we need the proper pick up this. Okay. I'm hoping one of the 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 helm. The one of the helms is here. The thunder helm is what we're looking for, right? Oh, come on. Here we go. Ah! Okay, some stairs. Well, there is two more of these that I... Well, not that one, of course. At least one more of these that I want to check out and see what is behind the curtain before we go up those stairs. Nope, don't want that. We're actually going to save that sword for a bit. We'll go around with this dagger-like weapon. I'm going to say I probably don't need the torch anymore. I'm going to pick this back up. Use it for a bit, but if we do need the torch, we'll come back and get it. Always look both ways. Yiga clan hideout. Ah, more bananas. These guys love bananas. If we are being uh, gonna be possibly attacked by the Yiga clan, we're going to suit up into our badass ninja outfit. Um, we'll just go with these. I had dyed my stealth tight, uh, my stealth tight, so. Let's talk to her. This is Barda, the guard that's missing. They'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. If only you had some way of distracting them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. This place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I'll take care of myself. Very cool looking guard. I can distract them with bananas? Man, they have a big sword. We are going to uh, get bananas out, I guess. We're gonna put it right here. We're gonna head back up here. And when he comes around, I should be able to sneak around the side. Anytime now, Yiga. I'm just testing if this banana theory works. He already sees it. Yep, there he is. He's not looking up here, though. That dude is excited for bananas. Okay. They love bananas. We know that. So in the future, we will remember bananas work. There's a standing one there. This hold. Shit, he doesn't notice. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that worked. It's a little loud though. I think I've a lot of people. Can I stealth him? Oh shit, he's strong. Damn it! Nope, I cannot stealth him. Uh, yeah, the current giveaway right now is the hound figure right here. Oh, shit! I thought that I was just caught. 
I didn't know that it was gonna be a whole big thing. Uh, if that, damn it, get out of here! If that is the case, then we are throwing some bombs and getting the fuck out of here. Quit showing the prize and run. Huh? I was just streaming. You were showing the prize and I know. kill you. I'm like, no, rap, run, Eric, run, Zach, run right here, run. Fuck them up. Down. Jesus. He, he stabs you first. Beware, fool, the eye of Yiga. Okay. Yiga eye. Well, they did not go very well. Oh my gosh. There's the exciting part. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. It's like Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty oh, man. I just remembered I should have gotten naked and just... What? I should have gotten naked and just lay down on them. What? I should have done it. I didn't. <laughs>